Let's talk now about what I'll call an explicit hierarchy. It's explicit in the sense that every level of the hierarchy is explicitly named. It leverages the intrinsic hierarchy of an HTML, of an XML file. XML files are intrinsically, that is, the, uh, the hierarchy is built into the XML file, and this explicit hierarchy uses that tag hierarchy to represent the hierarchy that you want to represent. So if you look at the picture that's on the, uh, that's on the screen here, uh, number one, you'll see that, uh, that it represents a book. So a book has a table of contents, and a, or actually a book is a structure, and that book has a structure of sections, one embedded inside of another, and the top level we usually call a part, and under the parts we have chapters, under the chapters we have first level headings, under the first level headings we have second level headings, and so on. So we can explicitly represent that hierarchy, part, chapter, heading, in a set of tags that are nested within each other and use the, ex the intrinsic hierarchy of any XML file to represent that idea of a book. So looking at the picture, you'll see that the book itself has a title and the book has a body that you can consider the introduction to the book. The book has a set of parts, one, two, as many parts as you want. Each of those parts has a title and a body. Each of the, and, uh, excuse me, each of the parts has a title. Each of the parts has a body. That might be some introduction to the part. And then the part has a series of chapters. And if you scroll to the second picture in the frame, the second schema picture, you'll see that we go further and every chapter has a title. Every chapter has a body. That would be the text of the chapter or the, the introduction to the chapter, most likely. And then it has a set of heading ones. The heading ones have titles. That would be the title of the heading, the subheading of the chapter. And then it has a body, which would be all the text that's in that first level heading. And under the heading level ones are heading level twos. And then we stop. We don't go any further. So in our book, in this schema, it's only allowed to go down to the second level heading. But you get the idea. If you wanted a third level heading, you would nest that third level heading inside the second level heading. Notice also that the structure of each of these sections, the chapter, the part, the heading, is all the same. It has the same tags in it. We've just named each of those levels a different thing to give us the feeling of the book's hierarchy, that the book is composed of parts, which are composed of chapters, which are composed of headings, which are composed of subheadings. And so we've named those sections explicitly. If you move over to the picture of the instance, we've been looking at the schema. If you move over to the picture of the instance, the instance is really pretty straightforward to read because the instance reads like the book itself. That's, the, that's kind of the nice thing about this explicit hierarchy is that uh, what you see in the XML instance file is what you get. So we have the book, and the book has a title. Title happens to be information structure, strangely enough. That book has a set of parts. We've only shown one part here. That part has a set of chapters. We've only shown one chapter. That, that chapter has headings. We've shown two of those headings, and only one of them has heading twos under it. So notice in back in the schema, if you flip back over to the schema, that I don't have to have any heading twos under my heading ones if I don't want to. So that's, that's what's going to allow us to have um, some heading ones that don't have any children or don't have any children headings at any rate. So that's the explicit hierarchy. We name the levels of the hierarchy explicitly in our schema and then in our instance we type into those, into those levels of the hierarchy using the explicit tags that, um, that we've defined in the schema. The instance is really very easy to construct because it's straightforward. What you see is what you get. Um, and the last thing to say about this uh, uh, explicit hierarchy is that it's any by nature. If you recall any versus Audi, any means that the access structure is, uh, is right in there with the tags of the items that it's uh, organizing. And you can see here there would be absolutely no way to get the, uh, the headings, to get the, the hierarchy out of this book without completely ripping apart the book. So that's the test of whether it's any or Audi. It's any if it's right in there with the content that's being organized. And of course, in this sense, it is the content that's being organized. And the organizational structure is created by the, the, just the way that, a, that XML works.